Hey guys, this is my tutorial on auto leveling tool paths for CNC milling circuit boards. As you can see, this is one example for a circuit board that I made. But you can also make finer traces. For example, this is a TQFP32 package with 0.4 mm traces, and they turned out pretty nicely. For milling, I personally use a Shapoko CNC machine, as you can see here. So the first step of course is design, and let's jump straight into it. So this is our design in Eden. It's a small connector board for LCD screens, and you can also connect a ribbon cable here, so you have more room on your main PCB. And also it has a poten potentiometer for controlling the contrast. So to make our G-code for sending it to the machine, we just enter run PCB G-code setup, and then you can then this window opens and you can enter all the settings here. If you want to copy the settings you can just pause the video and, they, uh, and enter them in your window. So let's press accept and make my board. These two windows are the outlines. We don't need those. But here are the traces. And now you want to have a quick look and see if there are any traces where they should be milled, but they aren't. For example here. There are some gaps in the uh, G-code. So close the view, run the setup again, but this time change the minimum pass depth. And accept and make the board again. And now you can see that the traces are continuous and are isolated from the pads. So this is our finished G-code. We can find it in our Eagle folder and those four files are the ones that we are going to need. Actually we won't need a bottom mill, just a top mill. So we can take those files and move them to our desktop so we can work with them later. So now we have to prepare the board. So now we have to prepare our board. This is the copper clad that I'm going to use and the design is pretty small, it's just about 20 by 45 millimeters. So I think it should fit in just this small section here. So now I like to put my board on a piece of MDF board just so it's easier to move around and to work with. So first of all we want to glue it to the MDF board. So, I'm going to use some double sided tape and just put it on there. Don't be afraid to use much uh, tape. It's better if it's going to be hard to re remove later. Then if it's going to get loose while you're mailing the part. So always use a bit more than you actually need. And now just glue it in the middle of the MDF, MDF spoil part. And be sure to press down tight. So, this is the part, and now we have to place it in the CNC machine. So, now that the board is glued to the MDF board, we can screw it in place. Seems good. 
we are going to need quite a few different bits for this project. First of all, we need an engraving bit, also called a V-bit. This one is a 30 degree one I got from Amazon. I think 5 pieces were like 11 bucks, so they are not pretty expensive. And also, this one is a 2mm drip breaking bit. Let's get this to focus here. That is going to be used to mill the outlines. And also, those two drills over here, those are 0.8mm and 1mm drill bits for the holes. So, first of all, we need one of these. So, let's put it into our Let's put it into the spindle. And always make sure that the bit is really tight. I mean the collet. So, take some wrenches and tighten it up. So, now the fun part starts, which is probing and auto-leveling the surface of the PCB. Okay, so now that we got everything set up, we need to probe the surface, so we can adjust the G-code to fit over the surface exactly. This will correct for any unevenness of the surface of the PCB. So, we need to open up my custom program, it's called Hide Probe, and just drag and drop all the files in. Now we need to adjust some settings. The grid size, we need to adjust 3mm, just so it won't go over 19mm in the y direction, because that would be out of the area of the board. The plunge rate, I think 20mm per minute should be okay. For the safety height, 0.4mm should be alright. The maximum depth doesn't really matter, but, point f uh, but minus 5mm is okay. So, select the port where your CNC machine is. Open it, release the safety, and hit start. This will ask you where you want to save the file, but don't do that already. First of all, we have to set up the machine. We're going to power up the stepper motors. Then we need to connect the green wire, that is a ground wire coming from the Arduino to the PCB. And we need to connect the red wire, that is A5 on the Arduino board, to the bit. A5 has an internal pull-up resistor, and when you connect it to ground, it will detect that it uh, that the bit touches the surface. So now that that is set up, we can start a program. So, hit save. and it will start probing. On the screen you can already see a preview of the board. The red areas have higher elevation than the blue areas. Probing can take quite some while, so I'm going to pause the video now and come back when it's done. So it's almost done now. As you can see, there's quite a bit of unevenness in the board. So if you return to the board, this should be the last row that it has to probe. So once this column is completed, it will return to the origin. Done. Now we can go back to the computer. It will also say completed and we can just close the window. So now we have a .csv file that's comma separated values. We can open that in Excel and just take a look at all the values for ourselves. So we have a minimum 
of minus 0 0.028 and a maximum of 0 0.009. So the unevenness is, was actually pretty small, just about 0 0.03 millimeters. But nonetheless, we will still take that file and go over to our next program. It's called Hide to G-Code 3. Just make sure the recording is still running. Okay, so this is the new uh, other program. We will take all our files, drag and drop them into there, and also take the height map, drag and drop it as well, and now just hit apply map. That will create new files, which will have the corrected values in them. Now to preview this, I like to use chili pepper. Just drag and drop all the files in there, and you can see that is the drill file, 4.8 millimeters. That is the outline. And this is the toolpath for the wee bit that will actually engrave all the features of the PCB. So, it's ready for milling. Now for milling, I'm going to use uni Universal G-Code Sender just as you would normally. So open the port and we also have to give it a Y position at a Z position and that is 0 .04, uh, 0 0.4 millimeters. So we just enter G92 Z 0 0.4. So now the Z position is set. The X and Y already fits so we can just go to file mode, browse, and find the right file. In this case, it's the edge corrected.hub. Now if we visualize that, you can see this is the toolpath. So now we just need to set up the spindle and we're ready to roll. So take off all the wires. We don't need this anymore. And now just connect the power. I'm just going to do that without making video of it. Okay, so the spindle has power and it's also set to the highest RPM that it can do. In my case that's 30,000 RPM. I also added a small dust too, just so we won't have copper dust all over my living room. So. Get yourself some hearing protection and we can start. So now the milling is done. This is the circuit board as it is right now. Now we have to drill the holes and mill the outlines. So first of all let me change the tool. So now I change the tool to a point uh, to a one millimeter drill bit. So to recenter the zero on the set position, again we connect the wires. And this time we come over to Universal G Code Sender and enter the command. G thirty eight point two set minus five feed rate of twenty. Now if we hit enter it will self center on the set axis. <coughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so our set has a new value of 1.1. 1 .1. So to make that zero again, just enter g 92 set zero. Now our set is zero again and we can start to drill. So just disconnect the wires again. Load up the file. We can visualize it again. And now, start the spindle. This time I think we're going to be, go a bit slower. I'm just going to get some hearing protection and then we can go. So now we have just have to repeat this process for the 0.8 mm drill bit. So I just finished drilling with the 0.8 mm drill bit. So now the PCB is almost done. We just have to mill the outline and for that we go we are going to use the 2 mm chip breaking bit. Let me just insert that into the collet. Okay, so I inserted a new bit and re-zeroed the spindle. So now I'm just going to go uh, go get the vacuum cleaner so we won't have a mess in here. And we can start. I also loaded in the new program. So now we are done. We can just power down the stepper motors so we can move the spindle around freely. And there we have it. An almost perfect PCB. Let me just get that out of there. If you look carefully, the board may still look a bit rough. But we are just going to fix that right away. I'm just going to go downstairs and give it a quick sanding. I'm going to use 600 and 1000 grit sandpaper and then the board should look really good. So, be right back. So, this is the finished board. If you want the software downloads, you can find them at my website. I will include a link in the video description.